Yes, Becky fans. Type of the retro coding again. Still stuck on this tile map. It's a long process. Getting there bit by bit. Good evening, Specky Nut, my dude. Well, it's tempting to leave the chip tune on in the background, but it's only going to get distracting. I'll leave it playing just while we look at what we've done. Now, I'm going to run the game and it's going to look the same, if not worse. But believe it or not, there has been some progress. So there it looks, as you can see, drawn correctly. And it is indeed being now drawn correctly. But as soon as it scrolls... Ah! It's not working. In fact, it looks like it's not even... Um, you know, it's actually shifted everything back there, isn't it? It's not even scrolling away. And of course, we're getting some garbage in there as well. I really am at a loss. But let's not worry about that just yet. Let's have a look at what we did fix. So, <clears throat> the reason for the backward step was I've actually incorporated tile attribute 2 into my tile map <coughs> excuse me so the first thing i had to do to do that was change this bit here let's make that bigger yeah so that bit there 6b next reg that was saying that we were using the default attribute only Um, it turns out if you turn that bit off, then basically each tile <clears throat> is two bytes instead of one. So I've just been able to make tiles like eight rather than four. And the second one of each is the attribute. And they're all zero. <clears throat> but if I want it mirrored, I can do that. So, for example, let's actually try it on this screen. Let's put a 17 there. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, say we want to um, say we want to have a mirrored version of 17. We know there's going to be 32 max. Is it 32? I believe there's a maximum of 32 super tiles that we can create. So we'd have to we'd have to copy this which is a blank space for a tile where we haven't filled anything in in the sheet. So that's 21 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 30 31, 32. <coughs> so, like I say, if we define every tile that we can, if you remember on the art program, we can have four rows of eight, four rows of eight by eight cells with 32 in each row. Um, but that equates to 32 meta tiles if you add it up. So you can basically have 16 meta tiles in one line and you can only have two line of meta tiles defined and that's it. That's a whole sheet. <laughs> or that's a whole... When you, when you define a tile map, that's the largest it can be. There is a way of making it twice the width, but I haven't looked at that yet. We won't need to do it. So anyway, once we get to this point here, we could have... This is obviously... obviously ah, zero. Hang on a sec. Hang on. I think I've actually done one too many because what we actually want to get to is number 31 which is the end of end of uh, definitions oh god my eye and my O key are breaking down now <coughs> 
But that's, there's nothing to stop us defining another one here. And <clears throat> this would be the mirrored version of this. Or, yeah, well, that's the way I'm going to do it. So we need to have some thinking about it here. The zero, that was empty, so that's fine. Then we'll have to copy that. And these are all the M's, yeah? Probably not the best. I don't like M there. Doesn't stand out. Let's have an asterisk. course really for this to work we might as well just copy the whole lot then we're ready for when we finally fill up the entire sheet of obviously if we're going to make a proper game we're going to fill up the whole sheet of tiles <laughs> might as well put a star there just to remind ourselves. So, of course, that's really 32, yeah? So, if I want a mirrored version... Well, I said 17, didn't I? So I can go here with it. So there'll be a little like, edge. Oh, of course, we actually need mirrored one. So long story short, you add 32 to it. And now, obviously these need to be mirrored. Um, all of them. Starting here. So that's defined there. So now do you know what? It should just work. <coughs> the only thing is, we do times it by 8 in A. We use A to times, times this value by 8. So I think we might have a problem. My mass isn't that strong. It's close, isn't it? Let me check on my calculator. Yeah, it's definitely going to go over. So that's a bugger. That's my idea out the window. That's annoying. And it's only because we have to times it by 8. When it was times by 4, that was fine for this idea. That is a bugger. Um, I just wonder, is there a way around that? Here's where we times it by 8. We do this multiple times all over the place. <coughs> but maybe I could times it by 4, add it to HL twice. That might work. <laughs> I 
It's a bit annoying because we have to do this add A4. I suppose I'd have to do load A4 instead. And put this above twice. Let's do it. Let's do that. <coughs> I'll just double check that we can't go over even by multiplying by four. Nah, we can't. It's perfect. So we're adding it twice instead of times in it by two. And here, instead of times in it by the extra two, we'll add it twice there, then we'll load a with four to add that on as well. That might fix this problem. So now you can see it's going to go all the way down to here and find the mirrored tile, which is the exact same thing, but mirrored. Of course, this is only for the um, initial view. It's not going to scroll properly. What kind of work? Oh, yeah, that kind of is working, actually. <coughs> we need a space in the middle with a blank. I don't know why that's still there, that bit in the middle there. That's very odd. Hmm, the mirrored one seems a bit odd. It's almost perfect though. You can see the mirror one there. I think what's happened is it's done it in reverse, look. The mirrored tile is... The columns are reversed. For the last two of the... I hope that makes sense. The right side of the, this where I'm standing. The two columns below his feet, where I just was, are reversed because I've just done the mirror here. So that's a pain. That's a real pain. Oh, hang on. We can just define them backwards instead. So we'd want to shift two and three over to here. It's the right pain in the rear end. <coughs> Four, five. Six, seven. Thing is, if you make one mistake when you're doing something like this, or you leave one line out and you'll never find it. Well, you will, but it'll take you ages. Eight, nine. Thank goodness, a load of zeros for me to skip past. Moral support. 66, 67. Sixty-eight, 
70, 71. <clears throat> I've seen your comment just reading it trying not to make a mistake at the same time um, let me do this last one first 72, 73 <clears throat> so, if you understand how I've done that, I'm going to assume you do, and this, and we know how it was just numbered ID of tiles, it was looking that up, times in it by the amount of elements to get to the right tile. So now, just by putting 33, for example, we go beyond the, this, the first 32, and we're at this one now. And it's just another tile. It doesn't care. We could put like all 72s in there and have a completely different tile. But we also happen to set the mirror attribute differently, which is the second attribute after the tile ID. So this looks up the definition in the tile sheet and this defines its attributes. And it, they've got to follow each other one by one. But that should avoid us having to do any code. We've just flipped it in the definitions. Hopefully it will. No, it hasn't. But I've got the right idea. I've just done the wrong bloody... I've switched it wrong, I think, which is a real shame. So... I need to think of this cleverly. Oh god, now it's even worse. What's going on with that? Okay, that would be probably back to where we were. Good, so there's, what we're looking at there, again, right next to where I'm standing now, is actually two meta tiles on top of each other. Or one on top of the other. So there's a group of eight tiles, real, real life tiles. Yeah, so what I need to do, I've done that wrong. What I actually should should have done was switched the front two of each one. So let's just do the 1 and the 17. So the 33 and the 39. I probably should have kept numbering them properly. Let's do both. Let's have it like that so we can see both. So I wanted 33 and 49 is what I'm bothered about right now. <clears throat> 37, 38, 39, 40. So that seems like it's 49 to me. Good. Okay, so what I believe I need to do is put that as a 7. That is a six. Same here. And then it was one was the other one. Thirty three. Do the same thing. And then if this works, I'll have to quickly go and do the rest before my brain forgets to do the rest. And there we go. It's looking sweet. And actually, if we were, if I sorted out the gravity, look, that does work. 
It's just that I haven't bothered checking when we're on the ground. We're only checking when we're in mid-air at the moment. But if I can skill it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Boom. Right, so I've done one and 17. I do not want to do them again. Oh, see. Uh, I can be pretty, uh, I don't want to use an offensive word, but pretty, pretty dumb with this sort of stuff sometimes. Right, so they're the ones I've done. So yeah, this is a right pain in the rear, but it's at the same time, a, a paradoxically pretty painless way of making tiles. It's made it a lot easier for us in the long run. As I keep repeating, the problem will be if I don't concentrate and do one wrong number here, and I won't notice now. And then in t in time goes as time goes by, you know, we actually come to use one of these tiles, and it won't it will look wrong, and we're like, what the hell's going on? Cool. <clears throat> I actually had the scrolling working with the meta tiles beautifully. And that is the most recent GitHub. But as you can see now, it really doesn't work. Note against specific lines. Uh... Yeah. I don't want to call it a tile inside a meta tile, so I'll just call it an entry instead. But uh, no, it's confusing. That'll do. So add twice to HL because meta tile elements are two bytes each. Scrolling to do it, just messing with the code. Yeah, I actually had the scrolling working with meta tiles last night, but when, since I've added um, tile attribute 2, it's broken because it is quite a lot more complicated now. But we should be able to sort it now i've got this i've got um this as a template now of how it you know we know that's working perfectly so we can use it you know we can fall back on that but yeah we'll have to work on that in a minute i mean i don't know about commenting this because it's sometimes hard to comment it without being confusing but I mean, you have to look here. It's, this is pointing at the level itself. So, uh, point at level map in meta tiles.
Note that I've changed this as well because each tile is now two bytes long. So this got doubled in size. Oh, I've just had a load of your com comments I didn't see. Oh, the title attribute area. I see, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think this is adequate for me. To, see, to me, it all makes perfect sense because I'm the one who wrote it, if you know what I mean. So it's easier for me. I completely understand that. I mean, I wouldn't even have that. I'd delete that now if I... I would comment this, but the actual f name comments itself, doesn't it? Now, I think it's okay. <clears throat> Take a couple of days off. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, skull fix. I was just thinking about that. Yeah, like I say, I had it working last night. And um, if anyone did check out the recent GitHub entry, you'll see that it's working, the scrolling with metas. But they're only one bit, or uh, one byte tiles, not two. These are two byte, which is, of course, a lot better. We can have mirror tiles now and other things. Um. Yeah, we're only going to scroll right at the moment. And what was happening was... Ooh. We definitely can't do that anymore. We've got to do the, that twice again instead. Because that's going to go over one byte. So it's doing much the same thing, it's, except for with different registers this time, but it's getting to the level, loading the value that's in that map, times in it by eight, using that to add to the meta tiles pointer to get to the right tile, and then just literally taking the value from that tile, putting it onto the screen memory. Of course, it's doing it... Um, at the edge of the screen this time. Can't see where we do that now. Oh, here. So plus 39, so we go 40 tiles across to the right. <laughs> the annoying thing is I did have a play with this. And I, like, I almost had it working, but it was really late. And then I started rushing through it to get it working. And I ended up not, and I, I left it in a not working state, which is never a good idea. <coughs> but I have the confidence in knowing that this did work at one point, And I don't think I've had to change this at all. Hmm. We had to add this thing that I've called offset, which just because obviously a tile is two tiles width, a meta tile is two. So you don't increment the actual camera until you've done both. 
So this tells you whether you're in the first or the second column of the tile. Let me just double check when we're scrolling it. Is the very first one glitched or is it the second one? See, that looks okay. So, uh, there's a clipped plane, though, that was already loaded with the view draw. And then the next one that comes out is glitched. So I'd say straight away, this bit's both columns, both of these are doing it. By the way, last night, the only problem with the code for all, them, all that time at the end was I'd copied this whole routine down to here. And I hadn't put the second at the end of the jump, so it was jumping all the way back to there. Ah, my whole code's going to need a rework because of this. Oh, no, it won't. Wait. Do A times 4. I always write A times 4 there, just for some reason that really helps me spot it in the code, what's going on. So here we want to add it twice. Thank you for the follow, my dude. Cheers, Wicked. Nice to meet you, my man. Put a note there as well. Add that twice. Ah, the adding four thing's a bit annoying. That might do it. I'm not sure why I put times two there. Level width. Oh. It might need times two. Level width meta HL. Meta level. I don't think it is. Because that is checking through this map here. So although these tiles have now got twice the amount of bytes, this still contains the same amount of bytes. You know, it doesn't have any extra. This is just a number that points to this, if you know what I mean. It doesn't contain it. But I was just confusing myself, thinking it was containing it, I think. I'd say that was, that'll move us down to the line we want. Of course, the code's, the scroll's not going to work still, because I need to change the rest, but I might be able to see if that works, just by going slowly. Should get rid of clip, the clipping pain and it would help us see. Ah, see, we're getting major glitching still. I'm worried that the actual. I don't. Like, normally the. Uh, the bit on the left scrolls away as normal, but even that's not happening now. Very odd. Let's just try copying that into here. If 
And we want to add six there. We also want to do the same thing up here, but two. And that's because we're part way through the... Um, we're looking at this. And first we want to get this one and this one. And then the next time around we want to get that and that. So that's, the, that's two. That's six. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Still think it is not going to work, unfortunately, but yeah. There's something else at play here. Why is that bit of the left like springing back? I reckon it's one of these settings that I changed. Um up here if you change the bits for the tile map i took that one away to um to make sure it was a two bit tile map rather than a two byte you know rather than one but i bet one of the other ones i changed i've forgotten and it might have been something to do with the scroll the way it scrolls Damn. Oh, well, at least that, I'm happy that the, the view, uh, not a nip view. Yeah, nip view. Yeah, I'm happy that one works, because that's a big step towards it, getting this finished, to be honest. Scroll left's empty. Mm, what's stopping it working now? Just gonna roll a smoke, it won't be a sec. I was just checking that does only happen once every two every two scrolls. Let's give it a clipping pain as well. It's just a pain in the rear. That's really odd. They're coming through in the wrong place and they're the wrong tile. They bloody it's it's a strange bug that what I've done there.
Is that too small now, the text? <clears throat> it looks a bit small. That's alright though, isn't it? Nice one, nice one. Well, I'll finish rolling this smoke. It's been a remarkable amount of times I've actually managed to solve it while I do that. Well, I'll take a look at it, but I don't think I'm going to solve it just yet, but we'll see. Somewhere in here is what's, where the problem lies, I believe. Probably here. I think I have figured out the problem. I haven't figured out the answer, but with point HL at meta level, that's in order to get, as I keep repeating, this number in here that we want to find the correct cell and get the number from it which is what we do right there but once we do that why do we push it here we obviously want to save it yeah keep it because later we're using it again and we know where we are then you see we don't have to keep track we just go back to the start of where we were but I'm popping it here and then inking it here I think that's wrong The reason I've added another one here is because we added this second byte in here and I have to, every time I load a tile now, it needs two of the bytes. So it might be as simple as just moving pop to under there. Of course, we'll have to do the same thing down here.
I hope I got rid of all the pops and didn't just copy and paste it. I think I did. <laughs> That's crazy. We're still, I'm still baffled about why it's reappearing, that left bit. The ground is just springing back to where it was. Most odd. It's a right shame because I got it working overnight, like I say. The, the, the GitHub code is very similar to this and works perfectly. It's almost like it's snapping to the camera, but I'm sure it's probably just copying. Like my code here where I copy it from one place to the other, I bet I end up copying it back into the same place somehow or something. I was doing that before with the left, one I? Because I didn't do LDDR. Perhaps I've got something similar going on there. It's probably a good idea at this stage to rewrite the whole thing. Leave it there as a template. And then that will cause us to work through it line by line. Try and figure out. You never know, we might see a line we've missed. So let's call it like scroll right old. And leave it. Because I don't want it to be commented out green. I want to see it. Let's not even put the return. So, of course, that's just set in the direction. I'm going to want that. That's for purposes in other places in the code. And this does the same thing by setting what cam x is. And that's used for the collision and some other bits and bobs, like spawning enemies and stuff. Yo, thanks for the follow, my dude. I doubt I'll say your name right, but Sessi Sode. <laughs> Sechichold. Nice to have you with me, my dude. So yeah. Like I say, I'm just copying it because it's almost working, this code, and I want to work through it line by line. It's probably going to be a fruitless effort, this. So what does the next little bit do? That's checking for the end of the level so that we no longer scroll and we in instead move the character. Level width meta. That's perfectly correct. 99% short. <laughs> Ignore all that stuff below. This is where it's about to get juicy. Can't scroll. Hmm. So we know that we start that at zero. It's not going to show us when we hover it, unfortunately, but we know it is zero the very first time you scroll. And this is an offset that we apply to the tile map that moves it by one pixel per, like, so eight will move it eight pixels. 
and that's one full tile. So at that point we know we want another tile loaded in. So that's going to make it one on the very first go. And all it's going to do is shift the map to the left. But when it is eight. And this was where I did make this a bit funky. It's all weird. It's got code smell as they call it. Stinky code. Could probably be done a lot cleaner. Because what I've done is, I saved the current scroll again. So, so 8 is too many. We only want it to be 7 at the most. But when it is 8, we call this. And this routine sets that to 0 anyway. So it's going to be okay to do that. I might as well call it the same thing, to be honest. It means it's done the, the tile. It's scrolled a full tile. Whoa, thanks for the raid, 39 viewers. Shalan, my dude, thank you very much. <laughs> That's some mega viewers for me. <laughs> How are you going, my mate? <laughs> very nice raid. That's Unfortunately, I'm having a major problem with my scrolling. You never know, some of you guys might help me. <laughs> I'm quite a noob, really, when it comes down to it. Hey, nice. <laughs> We're trying to, we've got the map drawing the view correctly. Oh, thank you for the follow, Shalan. Good to have you with me, my dude. As soon as it scrolls, we, have a, we hit a problem. Whoa, follow mania. Old school coder. Top man. God, this is the best raid yet. By far. <laughs> awesome. We're not using this. Oh, actually, we are using that code now. Another follow. True to, true to Nizzle. <laughs> nice one. ZX next, that's the one. Andy Magic Knight. SP175, this is super stuff, guys. <laughs> this is epic stuff. <laughs> Greg, Booney, top geezers. Hopefully we'll make some progress. <laughs> I don't know what, what's hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Wayuk. I need a mod at this rate. Say so, hi. <laughs> this is amazing stuff. There's coding every night, guys. By the way, I'm always on. It's not always very high level, but we do normally get there in the end. How how are you doing, Shalan? Was you doing Game Boy? Was it or? <laughs> I'm still just, like I say, it's beginner-ish level. I'm just doing collision detection, scrolling, tile maps and stuff like that. Nothing too fancy. But we're getting there. We're nearly um, at the point where we can smash some games out, you know, different types of games. We had another game which was a top-down scroller. I'm not sure why I've loaded current score twice there. I don't think that's necessary. In fact, how was that even scrolling at all now? Oh, it was running down into there, of course. I just want to see what happens if I don't even... Don't even call scroll, scroll max. <laughs> so now we start seeing where it actually uh, it does repeat. So somewhere in that 
routine below was making it snap back. Okay, so this SR scroll max is going to find the next tile. But the problem is they're in meta tiles. This is where I've made myself get confused. It was working perfectly before we done that. It might be, mate, yeah. Because what normally happens, we've got this routine here that I've just called old now, so we're not calling that, but... um. What it's meant to do, and we had, we did have it working. Thank you for the follow, MBA. Balstrini. Good man. So many followers. I've just doubled my followers, basically. <laughs> Can't thank you enough, guys. Yeah, it, it was working perfectly. And in fact, on the GitHub still, the latest um, push to the GitHub, this all works. But then I went and I couldn't be satisfied with that. And I added these attributes to the tiles. And all I tried to do was um, adapt the code so that it was putting two bytes in per tile instead of one. And I managed to cock it up. But it's even more confusing that the meta tiles are, of course, not the tiles. That's a group of four tiles. So then it has to go and put, like, just bits from this into it at, at certain times it gets very confusing now at this stage <laughs> so there's like two passes for each line or column sorry hmm i think i will split it again so i can copy because most of it's correct So start, that's halfway down the tile map screen, um, memory. Because we're, we're only using half of the, like a, half of the height of the screen, trying to save space. All right, so a point at the meta level. Cam edge R stores a value to what the position is of um. So, like by default, it's twenty. It'll be like there. It's the rightmost um cell in the map. Keeps getting incremented as we scroll along. Yeah, thank you very much for jumping in, Shalan. It means a lot to me, man. When did I first stop programming? Um, probably in assembly, it was about four or five months ago. I will, thank you, Shalan. That raid means a lot, mate. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. And yeah, I, I've been programming in C Sharp for quite a few years. Just on and off. Nothing special just as a hobby but basically when the lockdown started i got into assembly language first lockdown started trying to code for the specy at that point i didn't understand any of it you know um didn't know what an accumulator was or hl any of it but i got to grips with it because i'd worked with nes roms and stuff before so i got a little bit i understood a little bit of it but It's great fun, though, because there's such a simple instruction set, you know. It's not like remembering about a hundred different ways to make a pointer and C++ and stuff. <laughs> Lockdown assembly. <laughs> You've heard that story before. <laughs> I have told it a few times. <laughs> Because there's so many people, it's funny, you get a bit of stage fright. I need this little thing to copy from now. My brain's gone completely dead.
I was really just doing it to work line by line to try and spot a mistake. Add HOA was to move to the the correct cell of the tile map of the map itself, you know. Um, I didn't steps. I didn't. I'm not very well off, to be honest. I would love to buy one. I thought about buying one recently, but even then I thought I decided against it in the end. First C64 game. That's brilliant, mate. Did you use assembly language as well? I tried to do C64, but at the time I couldn't get to grips with it as easy as I did with the Specky. Kickstarter 2. All right. HDMI cuts off the bottom of the screen, doesn't it, I read? Or the bottom and top. Assembly. Well done, man. I got a lot of help with the next from someone called Emook. You've probably heard of him. He gets himself around on Twitch, I think. And Discord. So he he popped in and helped me with um, how to load next regs and and what they needed. You know, he got, walked me through the first steps. I've only been doing next a few weeks, so just getting to grips with it now, really. So what we've done here is we've just loaded DE where the uh, top right cell is. So we're trying to just replace that final column on the right. Which is 40 tiles along. Of course, it's one column is just one column of tiles, not meta tiles, just half of a meta tile. Oh, you also done assembly in the 80s. <laughs> That's brilliant. There's quite a few characters in here that have done that. <clears throat> I was surprised, yeah. It's, I've, there's been people in my channel that have had games released and cover tapes, <clears throat> all sorts of things. I remember coding on a Spectrum when I was very young, but I didn't know what I was doing. I was copying it out of a book, you know. Didn't have a clue. <laughs> and I think it was just basic. Yeah, so like I say, level height is just because we're doing eight. We're only doing eight meta tiles of height for the level. This silly offset thing. This tells us if we're in the um, first or second column of a meta tile. Good evening, Moz, my dude. A busy evening today. Exciting. This is what I always dreamed of, having loads of retro coding fans, you know, novice and expert alike. Just have a nice chat while we do it. Yeah, I've still got some good memories of them days, Specky. Yeah, so that's all that's doing there is if it's if it's in the first column we go to the put column one. If not, put column two. And like I say, that's because I'm a beginner and I couldn't think of any cleverer way. Well, I'm already using all the registers. I didn't want to make some special way of looping through and doing it in one. So right here, I'm trying to take We've pointed at the right cell, that gives us a number We want to use that number to go through here And find this number Like I say, HL Pointing at that right edge 
hasn't gone down any lines. When the when these were only four in size, they're now eight. There's there's eight bytes per metatile right now. When there were only four, it was fine. I was just doing add a a twice. There's um a maximum of sixty four tiles you can have. So if you times that by eight, it's way over a byte. But four is just fine. So what I had to do was, we want to keep what, the value of HL. Should so push that. And luckily with the next we can do add HLA, but just do it twice because we want that value times two. All right, do I want to pop HL right there? Maybe. No, we don't want to pop it just there. How did I do it before then? Ah, see, that's why I push it. Because we want to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, HL saved to the stack. It's now pointing at meta tiles. A is the amount of offset it's got that value there times by four but we need it times by eight really and then it'll point at the right tile and the weird thing is i had this all working but as soon as i added the second bytes in it broke even when i tried i tried to com obviously to code around that but But as far as I can tell, this will get meta tiles to now point at the right tile. So finally, we can do load A, H, L, load D, E, A. Now, that definitely should be the top right cell getting replaced with the, the next right cell from the map. So it's going to be zero in this instance. Which is all zeros here as well, actually. By the follow-up. Who buggered the code? What, them coding manuals that they used to print? <laughs> yeah, clever. We've got to remember that um, a tile now consists, like I say, of four tiles. So you've got... That is one meta tile, you know, but we have to only get this one and then this one down after we've gone down one whole line on the screen. But these actually contain two bytes each. So here's, we've just got the first byte of the first one. So we always have to do it in pairs like that now. And then, as far as I can tell, we can finally pop HL, which puts us back, pointing at this. No, there's not a chance of that, Specky. It's two completely independent um, bits of data to do the 
and registers and that to do the um, scrolling. Different next reg. Yeah, good idea though, worth a think. But no, I could completely delete that um that background layer and it wouldn't make any difference to this. Like I say, I have a working template that I know works. I just cocked it up when I tried to include the second byte. What I probably didn't account for is that it's like um, more than one whole byte. And I didn't probably, you know, I probably multiplied it anyway. Anyway, we've done. The f that now basically the very first tile of of the top right cell of the camera view now we want to go down a line HL has been popped and it's now pointing back at meta level plus cam edge So we're actually back where we want to be with HL. That could have been where my problem was. I don't want to. I don't want to go down a line with HL just yet. The meta tile is still the same. I want to get the second bit of it. So I want to go down on the screen. View width minus one. Hmm. So as the original clipped edge. The clipping of that background is completely independent to the clipping of the tiles. And I will clip the tiles, but just for debugging while we're watching it right now, it's useful to see the whole lot. <laughs> that was a strange one. I think that just proved that it did work. We didn't get any garbage. This time, but um, there's no return. I don't know what's going on with that. Ooh, that's meta tiles. No, no, I was just thinking it's the screen memory. When I say the screen memory, it's not actually the real screen memory now with the next. It's the tile map memory. That was a big improvement. When I finally get this working, this will be a huge improvement because it's so easy to design levels now and they take up much less space. The reason I've done the minus one there is because we've actually inked two bytes. I already inked one. But that would mean I'd probably want to go twice the width. Maybe that's what it is. Do you know, I think, I think that's what it is. I think that's where I went wrong. Because the view width is 40, but now a tile is two bytes, isn't it? So when I'm moving down that screen, although I've put 40 there as well.
So maybe that all, yeah, that probably also needs to be 79. And then that'll be 78. Let's try it. So we remain in that meta tile. We've gone down one line. We just want to shift. We want to do the same thing, but shift to this one. Because they're the top two and then the bottom two. Wondering here. I think I do need to do all that again. There's probably a much more optimal way of doing this, but I just I'd be happy just to see it working right now. So yet again we're pointing at the first bit of the tile I want. This time I just want to add four first. Give me two seconds, I'll have a look at that. Two jumps. Yeah, they do. It wasn't working right now. I haven't got it working. You're right. That needs to be called one. But it, it jumps down to here, which is a similar thing. But that's going to get removed in a minute. In fact, let's do it now. I had it all working last night, just with without attribute two. So I know the concept does work, if you know what I mean. It just gets a bit more complicated with doing it with two bytes, because everything's times by two, the view width and all this stuff. I believe I've just done one tile now. We just need to loop that amount but it's not just a loop how did i do it because there's a couple of other little bits you have to do the offset and the scroll yeah so loop offset scroll let's just copy that oh i also went down another line of course I think this might work, you know. I think the problem was I wasn't times in these by two. HL is a bit different because HL is here. It's been popped before we ink it and this is actually dealing with meta tiles as one byte, just a storage of them. So, that's okay to be the correct amount of width, which is 80, I believe. Yeah. All right, and then put column two is very similar. Like I say, this will be, you could come back and optimize this heavily, I'm sure. That gets set to zero instead. That's number two. 
as two. Now the only difference is where we've added four, we actually want to add six. And here we want to do the same, but added two to get to this bit here instead. And obviously the last one over there. That might just work now. You never know. I would bet my life that it won't, but. <laughs> We're back to this. I think I'm loading the wrong column. It's loading from. Yeah, it's taking the one from its neighbor rather than from the left side of the screen, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder why. Let's just try it with 39 back there and 38. Yeah, 38. Oh, hang on. That was supposed to be 78 for a start. Can't see that doing anything, but. Might as well try it. No. I'll just try this, but I'm I'm quite convinced it, it should be 78, actually. The purpose of the two put column one and two is so that we know whether we're in that one or that one when it comes to scrolling because you only get, you only put one in there at a time that's the confusing part hmm What that one does there is it literally copies it. I wonder if that is the wrong way around or something. Thanks, Booney. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again, mate. I'm going to try just plus one there instead. See what happens. Probably go completely horrible now. Weird how it does the same thing every time. Oh yeah, of course we've got to do that as well. That could make all the difference. I forgot after you've actually done the second tile, the the second iteration of the meta tile, you've actually got to then increment the um the camera's edge, which is a bit of a goofy way of doing it, but that's how we monitor where the camera we could do the camera's right side for some reason. Stuck with it. That nah, hasn't made any difference, but... Ah, weird. <laughs> so weird.
Yeah, this is a tough problem. I'm very tempted to go and load my GitHub one. I've got another one that works exactly the same. The only difference is I couldn't mirror, like, I've given myself an option to mirror these tiles now. But without that option, I had it working. Super tempted just to load that up right now. I'll at least grab it, a copy of it. I can find it. Annoyingly, I can't get the link to my GitHub from my desktop. Well, I haven't made changes like I, without committing first, and I don't want to do that. Here we go, I found the link. Okay, that's downloaded. extracting it yeah so I did make a lot of extra changes after this yo thank you for the follow Brum brum. How you doing, my man? Yeah, this version should look pretty much the same. But, um, oh, the snapping's not working. This is not a good sign. But as you can see, look, the scrolling's fine. And this is using the meta tiles, but I can't mirror any of them, so I've got to have hard edges like that. And also, I haven't implemented the, um, full when you walk. I have implemented it, but I've just got it turned off. If you jump, it still works. But, um, <coughs> yo, brum, brum, brum. Lovely emotes, my dude. I love my latest emo yeah, emote. <laughs> Smash that Amiga. That's what I feel like doing half the time when I'm coding. Especially right now, for example, with this problem. So yeah, anyway, that works. And let's look at the level. We're still using meta level. But look at this. The tiles are much more simple. There's none of this mirroring. That's limited the game quite a lot. So I'll have to go back to my other one in a bit. But if you have a look... scroll right what's the difference you know all this stuff that seemed all goofy was correct 39 here look but I'm sure that is oh that's screen memory You know what? That shouldn't be 79. That should definitely be 39. No, I said that and then I've just lied. I don't think... I actually think it should be 79. So, <laughs> shows what I know. But yeah, we have it working here, but I don't really want to work in this version. I'd rather go back to the one with the tile attribute too. Hmm. 
Oh well, let's load back. The non-working one. <laughs> Much better. I wonder if I could get the other one open there. Okay, so here's the other one that we know works. The problem with this is that, um, it is actually different because of the size of the tiles. But we can see if anything obvious jumps out. See there's like for example there I had to add it twice because there's twice the, the tiles are twice the size. I've gone down a line there. Hmm. We've gone down a line twice before we in the DJ and Z. Here. Oh, I also do. Peg seven. Who's peg seven? I don't. I've, I only see the comment section. I don't see it like the chat section. I don't see because I haven't got Twitch open at the moment, so I don't see my private messages or anything like that. Peg seven. Yeah, I've, I remember his name. But I haven't seen any messages from him. I do apologise, Ped. I'm just not seeing them. Oh, check Discord. Okay. I'm on it, I'm on it. Right, HL. 80 is the right one for that. I'm just wondering, because there's two bytes per tile, is it actually 78 plus 78? So we're on the 79th. Yeah, that it would be. That would be right, actually. <laughs> Glitch City. Discord. Okay. Hi, it's Ped. That's Emook. <laughs> I'm reading it now, mate. Usually, usually, if I'm told to. <laughs> <laughs> is it because, Ped, that I'm doing 
plus one, but I'm actually loading two bytes in each iteration. Yeah, there's probably a lot more stuff wrong. Although, did you see the working one a minute ago? Like, on this side? I'll run that one instead. I need to get into that folder just in here. Ah, what pain. Oh, I see. Oh, you legends. I've got you now. I'm with you now. Thank you so much. That's why the one that worked didn't have two bytes, so that's why that didn't matter. And in that case, should that be also 40? It probably should. Or times two. Should be, should be that. <laughs> Damn, so I've got to stop using LDIR, which is the answer, yeah? Or is there a better way to still use it? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. That's definitely the solution, though, isn't it? I've probably managed to cock more bits up along the way. I just need to do the same thing as what LDI does, don't I? But manually. Oh. Plus one, plus two. Um, really? Is that, is that it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. But it needs to get two lots, doesn't it? Oh, my head. Let's try it. <laughs> it's doing something. It's got... <laughs>